As people throughout the world continue to mourn the thousands of Turkish and Syrian lives lost in last night's earthquake, local residents are wondering how California is preparing for the possibility of a similar disaster striking closer to home. The state has experienced quakes of 7.8 magnitude and greater, and scientists have spent years developing simulations of how the big one would play out here. So what do Valley residents need to know? I spoke today with the Assistant Professor of Geology at UC Riverside, Dr. Nicholas Barth. Nicholas, first off, if a magnitude 7.8 quake, similar to what just happened in Turkey, happened here in Southern California, what could we expect? So we actually had a group of over 300 uh, scientists, engineers, uh, social scientists do a, a very thorough study in, back in 2008 uh, modeling the possibility of a magnitude 7.8 earthquake in Southern California. Um, so from that, they estimated uh, 1,800 deaths, over 50,000 uh, injuries, uh, $200 billion uh, in damage in 2008. Um, there's a lot of factors, but um, yeah, we can expect um, pretty significant damage from this magnitude earthquake 7.8. Here in Palm Springs, we're very close to the San Andreas Fault. Would we be hit especially hard? Yeah, so the closer you are to the fault that ruptures, so if it is the southern San Andreas, um, yeah, absolutely. The shaking is going to be stronger the closer you are to the fault, generally speaking. Um, and in many areas, we expect for that magnitude earthquake shaking to last uh, up to an, uh, uh, in excess of two minutes. Um, so a statistic people uh, like to throw around is that, you know, the average kind of roller coaster ride is something like 30 seconds. So imagine how long that ends up taking. Turkey, of course, has a lot of old buildings that aren't up to code, which is one of the reasons that experts say they're having so much damage. Here, though, in California, are, do you anticipate we would see a lot of buildings crumble? So the intensity of shaking that they have is kind of in this, this uh, realm that a lot of earthquake improved buildings, earthquake engineered buildings, um, usually are able to sustain slight damage. Um, and so it's kind of this, this critical magnitude where um, it's, it's a little hard to say. We could, we could have similar effects to them. I think generally speaking, um, our engineering having more reinforced uh, masonry buildings rather than the unreinforced ones, uh, like I'm, I'm seeing in the news there, um, should hopefully fare a lot better. What about our freeways? Um, freeways, we've learned a lot um, in our, our few earthquakes in Southern California, and particularly the Northridge earthquakes about how to better engineer the, the freeways. So I wouldn't be, personally, I wouldn't be quite so worried about those. Those should be designed to withstand pretty strong shaking like this. So what do folks need to do now, Nicholas, to prepare for when that type of an earthquake hits? Yeah, I think it's always, you know, events like this, tragic, but um, ones that happen elsewhere that are good reminders to uh, make sure you're prepared and have a, a personal plan in place. So uh, make sure you have a supply of, of water. What are you gonna do when, uh, you know, the phone, phone lines are down? Um, you, you aren't able to communicate with people. So um, yeah, I personally have a very thorough bag I can grab that has everything I need to uh, for a couple people to survive for um, up to about a week. Um, so it might seem you know a little bit like a doomsday prepper, but you know for Southern California, that could go a long way towards uh, you know making yourself a lot more comfortable in a aftermath of a disaster like this. You're so right. And not to scare anybody, but it's not a question of if, it's a question of when. That's absolutely right. Yeah. Um, and the longer we wait until that earthquake, it just builds up to be a bigger earthquake. And so it's not a hazard that goes away. It's a guarantee that we're going to have these big earthquakes like this magnitude 7.8 uh, here in Southern California in the future. And we're overdue, right? Yeah. So the current statistic that I've seen is um, something about a 59% probability of a uh, magnitude 6.7 or greater in the next 30 years. Um, if you look at more like a mag magnitude 7.5 or greater, it's something like 37%. Uh, so um, that's kind of the best we can do kind of with mm -hmm. the, the science and tools we 
we have available, but um, absolutely, the longer we go, that probability just increases. Mm, certainly disconcerting, but like you said, an important reminder that we should all be prepared. Nicholas, we appreciate your time. Thanks so much for joining us. Very happy to. Thanks.